Hey guys, thanks for coming to check out this video. So I just really quickly wanted to give you an update on my cancer situation. I went to the doctor on the 13th and today is the 16th, I believe. So I just wanted to update you really quickly. I also had like a QA and a I wanted to do. I have some people ask me some uh, frequently asked questions that I just wanted to go ahead and throw on this video and answer for you. Okay, so if you want to see all that, then just keep on watching. on the 13th and I got some blood work done and she saw my white blood count and it has come down a little bit since my last visit it was at like 12.6 thousand um so again that's still high because again the high range for adults is 10,000 it's expected for me to have um, a high white blood count right now so I was kind of to be expected but whenever I went into her originally it was 21,000 so is much much better my other numbers looked okay i was only within like a one percent difference of the last time that i was there for my neutrophils and my lymphocytes so my lymphocytes were at 58 percent last time i believe and i think they were at 59 percent this time yeah i think that's right and then my neutrophils were at like 20 something percent those are supposed to be opposite but again um since i have cancer and it's this kind of cancer like that is just what happens it's just you know nature for the beast really so it'd be great if those numbers would flip themselves but you know hey i'll take that they are not uh significant like my lymphocytes aren't like you know 70 percent or 90 percent you know so um i will take that for right now one percent in only three months is a very slow growing which is great also i have lost 32 pounds since my last visit at the end of September so that was a really good news I feel like I've lost like even more since then but like on their scale wise like it was 32 together I've lost like a ton of weight since I first went in I think I've lost like 70 pounds because of all the water weight that I had before she didn't really talk to me about too much more just kind of went over my numbers with me and she told me that since it looks like everything is stable right now it looks like i don't have to go back for another six months to get my lab work done and if that looks okay then i actually don't have to go back to see her for another year that was really great news so that just means my number numbers are stable um the cancer is slow growing so i don't have to go back for a year and that is great they were so excited for me and i just am going to miss everybody honestly like I'm so relieved that I don't have to go back to the doctor but I'm kind of sad at the same time because you know it's comforting to see all the staff there and my nurse and just everyone is so nice like everyone is so friendly to me and so sweet to me and they recognize me now um just from you know this is we're talking about thousands of people that go to this clinic but um I probably am one of the youngest patients there so thankful for them and I really appreciate my doctor doing everything that she needed to do to figure out what was wrong with me um and she did it so quickly and just you know she's so thorough and following up with me and answering any questions I have so I am so grateful for everybody at UT Southwestern and at Parkland here in Dallas they are phenomenal Okay, so that's really all I have for an update. Um, I had some like Q&A type questions that I wanted to um, go ahead and uh, answer just because people are kind of asking me questions. And so um, I got some messages and stuff like that when I mentioned that I might do a Q&A last time. So I'm just going to, I have notes on my phone. So I'm just going to answer those for you really quickly. The first one was the name of my cancer. So I have NK cell LGL leukemia, or the long name is NK cell large granular lymphocyte leukemia, so LGLL. Um, the other kind is T cell. The one I have is NK cell. The next question was, are you in remission? No, I am not in remission. I think that remission is like whenever you get your blood work tested and you are free of any cancer, uh, you know, cells. 
I am a not. I, my cancer is a very clear in my blood work. Um, so no, I'm not in remission. My cancer is just a very, very slow growing. It's a chronic cancer. It won't go into remission without some sort of treatment. Well, I have heard of one case of like a spontaneous remission. And hey, that would be awesome. I'm fine with just the slow growing right now, to be honest with you. After everything I've been through. Says, are you doing treatment? No, I am not doing treatment. Um, I'm on a plan that's just called watch and wait. But right now, the only thing we're doing is we are watching and waiting. It just means we are going to watch my numbers and kind of wait and see what happens. If I become extremely symptomatic again, of course, I'll go back to my doctor more frequently. Um, I won't have to wait, you know, the a year to see her. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. The other thing is that if I start getting frequent, very frequent infections, um, then she obviously is going to want to see me again. I can go to my GP if I get sick, my regular doctor, my general practitioner, if I get sick and I have an infection um, or something of the sort, he can treat me for that. The only thing is that they would obviously like for a normal cold or something like that, they wouldn't have to run like a complete CBC, um, complete blood count, but for me they would. And if anything was off for me versus like how the numbers looked last time, um, they would be sent to her. I'm probably just going to have them send my numbers to her if I have to go to the doctor for any sort of reason just to be on the safe side so that she can look at it and have it for her records too. Any doctor that sees me that's a regular doctor, obviously like my blood work is going to be you know, it's not going to look right. It's not going to be normal. So uh, she kind of knows like what my normal is. Next question is the prognosis. Um, so prognosis just means basically am I going, uh, you know, what is the end result going to look like? Um, I don't know. Uh, this is slow growing. It's chronic. I could live a very, very long time. I could uh, possibly not. Um, it really is a numbers game and an infection game. Basically, um, as long as I have my neutrophils and my lymphocytes, they are reversed right now. I should have more neutrophils and lymphocytes. Um, and I will leave a link down below um, for UVA. They kind of give like more information about that. Or I'll um, put a card right here and show you. You can watch my last video about that. But basically your neutrophils keep you from getting an infection. And since mine are low, um, the lower they get, the more likely I am to get an infection. The more infections I get, um, they could be serious. My body can't fight them off and I could become a septic. That's why I am on a fever watch. And it's so important that I don't get sick. And that if I do get sick, I have to go get it treated right away. Are you working? Yes, I am working. I've been, I never stopped working. I work full time, usually 40 plus hours a week. So I definitely am working. I got to work in order to... Pay these medical bills because so the last question my camera died and it was are you working yes I am working I work full-time my boss has been pretty understanding about my situation and letting me you know do what I need to do but I have not stopped working uh, you know at least minimum 40 hours a week so yes I'm working next question I have this one's kind of random why don't I vlog I don't vlog that much because honestly I just suck at it I'm not very good at it I'm gonna try to start doing that more because like I said I want to uh, include everybody on this journey with me and yeah and obviously I don't vlog when I or vlog when I go to the doctor because I'm at the doctor and that's just a, a privacy thing you know for myself and everybody else um, I mean it's hard being in the oncology clinic you know people there are struggling and going to chemo and it's very surreal like whenever I'm there kind of like wow like it all sinks back in you know I might be having a day where I'm not thinking about me having cancer and then when I go there it all kind of just like sinks back in so yeah. When do I go to the doctor next? I already answered that question. I go back uh, for labs in six months in June and then I will see her again next December as long as everything uh, stays the same and everything keeps going good. How do I feel right now? Uh, right now I feel okay. I'm tired a lot. You can tell by my eyes I'm tired. Um, that is the biggest symptom I have. Sometimes I have symptoms that like come and go. Um, I was having like really bad vertigo for a couple of days. I was super, super dizzy. It was terrible. Uh, my doctor thinks I may have like a viral infection in my ears. I have also uh, had a bladder infection since the last time I talked to you guys about this. So uh, infections are kind of like coming a little more frequently than what I think they usually would. But for the most part, I do feel better. I am... Just really, really tired. 
all the time usually I'm just I'm very tired like I it's not just like oh I'm tired I'm like exhausted so um, I do pre-film like these videos I try to film like three in a day and then I try to edit them and put them up because I am just so tired during the week I just can't film as frequently as I would like to but I am you know trying to make an effort so mostly that's just how I feel is I'm tired and I am just relieved that I don't have to keep going to the doctor as frequently I've accepted the fact that this is what it is you know I got cancer and I'm just going to keep pushing forward okay this says does your daughter know yes my daughter knows to some degree she knows that I'm sick um obviously she has to know that I'm sick I, I mean I was visibly <laughs> like sick and I think she was concerned I was visibly like very very ill over the summertime and leading up to getting my diagnosis up until recently so yes um plus we've had to change our life around significantly so yes yeah, she does know um she knows that mommy's sick she has asked me if mommy's going to die and i say um you know i'm honest with her that uh no not right now and that the doctors are going to help me and, you know we've had that talk so it's a tough one to talk about and i'm not trying to get super emotional right now what are my future oh no this was that's what i'll say that one for last what caused it um we don't know there is no like cause kind of like with any can't well i mean obviously some cancers stem from something sometimes i i think i asked her that and i was like what i think i was like why or something like that or like yeah like basically like what caused it and she was like bad my doctor was just like bad luck and i'm like no kidding what are your future plans my future plans are just keep living a life as normally as possible I'm hoping to travel again and uh, I would love to go to like Gen Beauty. I just don't know like I'm gonna have to reach out to them and see if they would be willing to accommodate me in some way as far as like the standing in lines like I'm just not able to do that. Uh, I obviously like would have to wear a vlog mask um, if I'm there. So uh, yeah I think like other than that you know I'm gonna you know keep on working and uh, just keep growing in my career and I would definitely want to keep doing YouTube videos. It's a good outlet for me. I like talking to people. I enjoy like telling my story. I enjoy makeup. I, you know, might have some lifetime videos or, you know, I'm not like a big techie person, but like tech videos, like I want to review my Apple Watch Series 3 that I got. So, um, you know, it's my channel. I kind of just like, I know they kind of tell you to like stick with one thing and stay with that but I feel like it's my channel and I'll do what I want to on it so um yeah but I mean for right now obviously it's predominantly a makeup channel and then my cancer story I think that's it for right now yeah I mean future plans just keep doing what I'm doing taking you know I'm not gonna think like long term in the future I'm gonna take every single day one day at a time again I'm just so appreciative for everyone who's given me all the love and support and everyone who's donated to my GoFundMe, because again, having cancer is expensive. Ooh. Uh, luckily, I did get re-enrolled for insurance. It starts in January, but again, it's my deductible is so high. But that's a whole other topic, right? So I hope that answers some of your questions. If you want a more in depth of what kind of cancer like I have, what it means, and what I mean when I'm really talking about like my numbers, I will probably do something like more of an educational video later on. I just wanted to throw out there really quickly too. Definitely check and see if you uh, sign up for the registry if you want to be a bone marrow donor. Um, that is something that I would have to do eventually as, uh, if this um, cancer goes on. Um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Like, If it gets worse and um, chemo doesn't work, then eventually like a bone marrow transplant is something that they would consider. Um, I don't want to get there, but nonetheless, there are many people who are there. There are children who are there who need bone marrow. And it's as easy as donating blood. It's not like they're not like where I had a bone marrow biopsy. It's not like they're digging into your bone for your marrow or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to leave a link to, I think it's called beamatch.com. And basically you sign up on the registry and I think you donate some blood. And then if you are ever needed, if there's ever a match, then they will reach out to you and you will go donate the marrow. Women and minorities have a harder time finding a match. And I am both of those, so if you could sign up, I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so spiel over. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Again, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Alright, bye.